I had time on my life, and I owe it all to you. Yeah, that sounded pretty bad, right? Yeah, but that's okay. We're going to fix that with some DIY acoustic panels on the cheap. So stick around, and I'm going to show you guys how to make them. Welcome to the Comar Project. For this project, I'm using Rockwool Soundproof Insulation that you can get at any big box store. It comes in 48 by 16 inch panels, and there are a ton of them in the pack. And hopefully this is going to help with the acoustics in the shop, because they are absolutely awful. For the backing, I'm using perforated hardboard that I got at my local big box store, and I actually got it for free. Sometimes you just go and look through their scrap pile, and they'll just give that stuff away for free. And to cover everything, I'm using a burlap that I got on Amazon. And you can get this stuff super cheap by the yard, and it will allow the sound to pass through into the insulation. All right, now the first step in this process is to actually cut your beadboard down to the size of your insulation. Now you can use MDF or plywood, but this is what I had laying around. Halfway through the cut, the battery on my saw died, so I just pulled out an angle grinder and I cut it with a cutoff wheel. This just shows you that you can use pretty much anything you have laying around. I spray on a construction grade adhesive and you want to lay the insulation on the beadboard or whatever material you're using and cut it exactly to size to match that backing. I tried using regular utility knife but quickly found that it was not long enough so I just switched it to a snap off knife and that worked really really well. You want to lay your burlap over the insulation making sure that you have about 3-4 to four inches that hang over the sides and then you can trim them. Then I flipped everything over and on that first one I sprayed the adhesive on the back where the burlap was going to be and then quickly realized that I didn't need to do that so that was the only one that I did it on. I pulled the sides of the burlap over the panel and started stapling it one side at a time. For the corners just wrap it like a birthday present and the more time you take on this step the better it's going to look. Then I just cut the access of the burlap with a utility knife and I had myself a panel. Hey, we got ourselves an acoustic panel. Sound better? Now this may not be the prettiest thing you see, but it should work. Anything soft that absorbs sound is definitely going to help. So let's make like four more of these and see how my song goes. It's going to get better. No singing lessons involved. So I just repeated the process of spraying glue, putting down the insulation, and staping the burlap six more times, and I was ready to install it to the walls and ceiling. Okay, so with a yard of burlap, I was able to get four large panels that are two by four and two smaller panels that are one by four. Now the cost of this thing came out to be, uh, not a lot. So when you break it down, this is way cheaper and I think it's gonna work pretty well. So hopefully you guys already see the difference. So I guess the last thing to do is mount these things to the wall and uh, test my song again. Let's try it. I ended up using a 2 inch drywall screw and drove them right through the insulation into the walls. Just make sure you're hitting the 2x4 in the wall. How's that sound? Is that any better? I think it is. It actually... I don't know. It sounds better to me. Yes! Now these panels turned out great and the acoustics in the shop are so much better. The only thing I would do different is probably put some sort of a border, maybe out of a one by material around, so that when you pull the burlap over it doesn't look like your grandma's love handles. And some of them turned out that way, but it works. So what do you guys think? Is it better? I'm hoping because we have eight panels in here instead of two. So I hope this makes a big difference for the upcoming videos. And if you like videos like this and me messing around, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. And I had time on my life and I owe it all to you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.